Hello beautiful people of the Dress to Connect community, those who are getting up, dressing up and being a bold light on a hill. I want to share something with you that is going to encourage you to really, really go all in with our upcoming December challenge, which is really like more of a call to action, but there is a, a competition element to it because why must we compete with ourselves? Uh, because of the spirit of excellence that is inside you, right? That spirit of excellence is a God-given divine thing. It's in your DNA. It's why you want to dress up. It's why you always uh, want to reach higher. And because there's always higher, more. Even if you're good at what you do, you can be better. And so I've had some amazing conversations with my clients this week during our coaching calls. And I want to just tell you and remind you that nobody is looking at you as much as you think that they are okay if you're carrying extra weight i'm up like nine or ten pounds again i kind of do that like you know i got years ago i decided up at 45 so about five years ago i had had enough of criticizing my body and condemning myself and just being so super critical about what i saw in the mirror doesn't matter how teeny tiny i got or whatever i just was my, i was just a terrible self-critic and I fell on my knees and I just cried out to God and I said, I don't want to live like this anymore. I'll never forget that day. I just, I don't want to, I don't want to live like this and, um, and please help me. And he said to start saying, I love my body. So I'm like, yeah, right. Okay. I didn't hear the audible voice of God. I just heard this. I love my body. I'm like, that is not my voice. <laughs> so anyway, long story short, I've never gone back. I, whether I'm up or down or swings and roundabouts with my weight, I love my body. I get up, I dress up, I thank her. When I do, when I when I do it number two, when my tummy works, I thank my body for working. It's a big deal to me. And so I want to prepare your mind and help you just to really go for this challenge. This is the last call to action of the year, okay? And uh, we normally have one every month. Sometimes we take a break. But uh, the call to action is training ground for you. It's for you to practice and prepare. And this one is to prepare you for 2020 you. So in going into 2022, we are all about 2020 you. And I want to tell you something. Only you think about your body as much as you think about your body. No one is looking at your arms or your butt or your tummy. No one is worried about the cellular. Nobody actually thinks about you as much as you think that they do. They don't. Listen, I've got all this going on lately, okay? Now for me, because I'm quite petite and I'm short, a little bit of weight adds up very quickly. I don't care. There was a time when I would not wear, like yeah. I mean, what's the big deal with this, right? But I would not wear, I would never go sleepless because I'm like, oh my gosh, my upper arms are a bit fatty, fatty boom batty. And listen, I got a lot going on here. I'm working on it. I'm at the gym and I, whatever. I love my body. It's good news. No one thinks about you or your body as much as you do. Nobody. Not on the beach, not in the shopping mall, not at the office, not anywhere. So this 1 to 21 December three week call to action is going to inspire you and it's going to give you the training ground to get up, dress up and go and be that light on your hill because you simply cannot be working from home anymore in that tacky tracky or heaven forbid in those pajamas or you just can't because you have to keep yourself marketable. You have to keep yourself marketable personally and professionally because your competition has arrived, my friend. It's not coming. The, the digital world we live in today, like just completely digitized overnight, thanks to the current season, and there's pros and cons with that, means that your competition uh, and the options, and it, it's just, it's just quite, it's just bread. It's just like lit up like fireworks because there is a whole lot more that people can do and choose from. Uh, now I have to figure out where I'm going. Okay, um, so I want to, tell you that nobody cares nobody cares about your body your butt your boobs your belly nobody cares so you shouldn't care so much either and I get it we live in a world that celebrates size zero it doesn't make it easy but it's Tuesday right every day we get to choose you and I what are we gonna wear what are we gonna say what are we gonna do are we gonna hide or are we gonna be that bold light on a hill that you know you are called to be so I'm gonna end off with this on the 1st of December Stay tuned in this group here because I'll be posting the video challenge. Stay tuned, get ready, okay? Because you are going to love it. You're gonna be doing it alongside other like-minded women on a similar journey. And you just need to get over yourself. Get out of your own way, forget about your body, 
and love on her and dress her up and you'll be amazed at how she responds. She is you. you you're supposed to love your neighbor as yourself, okay? So no more of this hiding, no more of this uh, criticizing, you know, no more, especially, especially if you have children or grandchildren, most especially, because they do just as you do, you know, we know that, right? 1 to 21 December. I want you to check your closet. I want you to make sure you feel organized for this call to action. There are amazing prizes to be won, but what's mostly to be won is the decision and the ability to love your body and to be kind to yourself and to have fun with fashion and to go into 2022 with 2020 you loving yourself well so you can love others well to so increase your confidence your your influence maybe even your income the power of personal style is a game changer it literally can change your life so i leave you with this message nobody cares about your butt your boobs your belly okay so stop fretting about it love on your body and stay tuned for that video